How'd you start, Remy? He didn't start as a nice guy, but some of the biggest scum we've ever had here at Rocky Mountain Pro, and you hitched your wagon right to them without a second thought. You're showing who you really were the whole time. I've made my mistakes. I've owned up to my mistakes. Call me a hypocrite. I call it growing. I call it learning. And I call it trying to train people here to not make the same mistakes that I did. And the Remy I sat at the hospital with wasn't really who you were. And you've shown everybody here who you are. So congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, the real Remy D. Wow. Can't blame you, ain't it, man? I mean, firing off, those are some deep shots. Oh, no! No, wait a minute! Come on, Remy! Come on! Champion! To finalize the contract for the main event of Milestone 14, Rocky Mountain Pro Championship, challenger Remy D taking on champion David Drake. Do you have any questions? All right, good. Let's get this over with. like to say to get people to want to watch this maybe talk about your redemption story whatever it is that uh, you're hoping to accomplish here at Milestone no good all right good luck gentlemen Graduates of the Alston Rest Academy. Here comes Cookie Wright. Maybe Cookie Wright can bake up a game plan to get a victory over Jason Bravo here tonight. We're about to find out for sure. would have something to say about that. There's some great talent out of the state of Utah. I don't know with that, uh, and here we go, we're getting started here. Cookie Wright taking on Jason Bravo. 
This is going to be a good test for young Cookie Wright against a veteran like Jason Bravo. Very good point there. Definitely uh, Jason Bravo, the more uh, more experienced of the two. And they look like they're pretty matched strength uh, strength for strength here. I want to see how that, uh, that dynamic plays yeah, out. Cookie Wright, a very strong man. But, but Jason Bravo, deceptively strong, well-versed in, in technical wrestling. And like you said, he's got that XP that uh, could get him the victory in this matchup. We'll see how it goes as Cookie right now has got a side headlock applied. And Jason Bravo now just kind of maneuvering his way around Cookie, gets him down on the mat. That was excellent maneuvering by Jason Bravo, lowering that knee, able to take the leverage away from Cookie right. And now he has a front face lock on here. And Cookie able to get to his feet and trying to, use, trying to use his technical ability to try to reverse it here. Uh, Double leg Co takedown. Co Cookie takes him down and gets a headlock applied, keeping him grounded on the mat. That's probably a smart strategy. Did you see how Cookie was able to grab back of the, both of those knees and just trying to use in that shoulder pressure to drive into his chest? Very excellent double leg takedown by Cookie Wright. Cookie Wright and trying to to just keep that headlock applied. James Bravo able to fight out and apply a side headlock of his own. And Cookie throwing Jason into the ropes. Oh, but I'm holding on to the hair. He held on to the hair and, and ref telling him about it. And Cookie driving Bravo into the corner here. Ref making the count here, trying to get everything see, to break. See, we got a clean oh, break. Oh, no. to the eye. Oh, uh, uh, well, yeah, just a little thumb poke. And now. Jason Bravo using a cheap tactic to enable to get the upper hand in this match. Choking him out. Hey, he's, he's just got all of that on him, using every second of that five count to inflict as much damage as he can to Cookie. Oh, what a shot right to the face. He's, he's like setting him up, measuring him. Yeah, he wants the applause of this crowd. He's not going to get it. It's unfortunate. He's a pretty good guy. Yeah. No, he's not. I, I sometimes, you know, we get along pretty well, but I question your taste in, in guys that you like. I, uh, I, Cas between Casanova and Jason Bravo. I, 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 I see I see technical tactical prowess, and I, I just admire it sometimes. I, I understand that, but... Uh, but now you got Cookie trying to go into the ropes and he's mounting, mounting some offense, some strikes to the head. And he's going all the way down on those, able to come down with so much force with those strikes. And that has Bravo reeling, a little dazed here, a little yeah, bit yeah, Bravo. Little wobbly on the feet there. Bravo's on. Oh, down no, he goes. Just a matter of time, I guess. C Cookie going for the cover. Only gets a one count. Bravo slow to get up and Cookie feeling the momentum now. Getting that hand, getting that punch set oh, up. But oh, he got, got kicked out of the way. And now Bravo going for that pump handle slam. Can he do, got enough strength to get him up? He oh, does. Cookie Down goes Cookie. Is not a small man. Excellent. No. One, two, and Cookie able to kick out. Cookie, not a small man. Impressive strength by Bravo. Able to get him up on that pump handle slam, but Great athleticism by Cookie Wright, kicking out before the three count. And now Bravo using such, some questionable tactics in this matchup, but it's it has gotten him to the point where he is on the brink of winning this matchup. And Bravo with a handful of hair, taking Cookie to the ropes, clubbing blow to the back, another handful of hair. Looks like he's going to whip him into the ropes here. Sunset flip. Beautiful sunset flip by Cookie. And almost got a victory. Keeping on the offensive. Go. Some big forearm shots. He's got him uh, scooped up. Nice scoop slam by Cookie Wright. I don't think Going he's to the ropes here. Oh, and going oh. for a splash, but it, Bravo able to roll out of the way. And it looks like he kind of, he, he might have kind of hurt his midsection on that landing. Yeah, you know, that mat, there's not much padding. Scoop slam. And 
Jason Bravo, trying to get this crowd like, hey, this is how you got to do it, guys. I'm a great competitor. You've got to appreciate me, and this is how you do it. Well, they, what they appreciate is men that do it the right way, do things with a little class, and well, Bravo, not not exactly doing that. Uh, man, have you been, uh, how long, you've been in Rocky Mountain Pro a long time. You know a lot of people here. Yeah. They kind of don't do it the right way. Right, and well, and that's why th these are RP faithful. They cheer for who they believe do it the right way. And now, oh, but he caught him with that elbow. The tri the trio of of maneuvers, and that could be it right here. Lazy cover. I mean, you know, I enjoy I enjoy Bravo here, but you know, kind of just doing a lazy cover right there. Cookie right, able to kick out really easily. Well, now Bravo measuring him up. Got that forearm ready. Oh, but it, it will get out of the way. It was Cookie. Side suplex slam by Cookie right. And Cookie now starting to get some momentum going. Belly, belly to belly. belly. And Cookie uh, Wright is on fire right now. Let's see how he's going to follow this up with a little German. Oh, whoa. We going to see the three amigos here? He's following up. That's two. Another German. Are we going to see it, Lucas? Is this it? Oh! Three, 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 three. That, however you say uh, three in German, that's what that was. Oh, that was, yeah. That was Very like, good. It was like three bratwurst, or I don't know what you would call that, but. Cookie, he has complete control after those that trio of German suplexes. Here we go. And going up, for, oh, I thought he was maybe going for a urinagi. Oh my God, shoulder first into the post. And now. And Bravo. What's he got in store he's got here? that. He's got that forearm loaded. Discus oh. forearm and oh, that's it. He's out. He's got the cover. One, two, two three. three. Jason Bravo finally picking up a victory after uh, returning here to Rocky Mountain Pro after a long, long time. This is, this is big time for Jason Bravo. Get some momentum, and who knows, going into milestone 14, you never know what's in store. Well, we will have more action here on Shark. Don't you go anywhere. We will be right back. Lockheads action, here comes Big Daddy Moe to the ring. So impressive to have Big Daddy Moe, man. Absolutely. You said it, Lucas. Big Daddy Moe been very, very impressive as of late here since making her debut just a short time ago, but we got the mean streak. Lola the Adventurer coming out here. Lola has, she's been on a win streak as of late as, of late as well. Absolutely. Look, and, and you can see a little bit more of a, a little bit more swagger to Lola now. And it, that's what winning does here at Rocky Mountain Pro. Again, gets you up your sin a little bit more energy out of Lola. Absolutely, Lucas. And me and you, we've been kind of questioning this change in attitude by Lola, but it's producing results, and we just we, we can't deny the results here. Yeah, it finally, it, it, it was. It took a while. She was uh, kind of in a rut there, but now she's starting to kind of put some things together. Boot to the midsection and a mush to the face on the Big Daddy Mo. And a oh, and series of forms. blocked nice, it. Nice block by and Big Daddy Mo. Big Daddy Mo, she is a she is a force to be reckoned with. 
She's one of the more powerful Lockettes, and she has really injected some energy into the Lockettes division. She definitely has Big Daddy Mo with some Big Daddy energy here, trying to get some, trying to get out of this uh, this, this waist lock here. That uh, Lola's got a death grip on that. Yeah, yeah she is holding on for dear life. Mo catches her with a back elbow. Now snaps her over. She got all the way over on that one, and Mo to the ropes. Oh, and uh, exploding off those ropes. Here's a hook of the leg. Just gets a, barely a two count. Lola able to kick out of there, but Big Daddy Mo going right back to the attack. Excellent, excellent experience by there. You, you think she's been in here for years with moves like that. Well, yeah, on top she, of her opponents. I think that the training by Mercury Yaden was just such a such a plus for her that it, it just kind of gave her an upper hand. Oh, and caught, her, caught Lola coming off the ropes. And Lola, Big strike, and she's going to roll out the yeah, ring. Yeah, Lola, here. Lola doesn't know what hit her after that shot. I mean, Big Daddy Mo, no slouch. So much power behind those maneuvers. You just can't deny her strength. Yep. Big Daddy Mo. And she's a she likes to have, here. Yeah, have a little. I like to have a little fun in the ring. I think that's what uh, has endeared herself to this the Rocky Mountain Pro faithful in just a short amount of time. That you know, she since making her in ring debut. You know they got to bring her out anytime that the ref makes a, 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 a five or a ten or three count, man. But oh, whoa, whoa, we got a chase out here. Yeah, yeah Lola. They're, they're going and, fast. But Lola, oh no! Wait a minute. Oh, wow. around, coming around here around our commentary table and. Well, and that's an like experience by oh. Lola caught, and that was the inexperience of Big Daddy Mo. It's not often we get to be part of the action. That was that, that was scary. But Mo is down here on the outside, and and, and the ref going and for ref the count here. Referee and trying to make the count, and it looks like Lola's kind of mocking uh, the way Mo was doing her count here, with kind of doing her own thing. Gets back in the ring, and Mo is staggered here. Like that was a devastating drop kick, and then she's kind of slow to get up here. And, and throws her down viciously, the head hitting the, that mat. Man. And, oh, hook of the leg here. Man, that, you see the way her head hit that canvas. That would have knocked any other person out, but Big Daddy Mo just showing her athleticism here, not going down without a fight. And now Lola attacking the leg, trying to wrap it around that bottom rope. Ref trying to counter to break it up before the five count and wisely letting go before she gets herself disqualified here. Very crucial match here. She doesn't want to just want to get that disqualification. Yeah, well, that's it. Yeah, there's a lot kind of riding on all these these Lockettes matches because of how tight the Lockettes division is, you know, and uh, especially with, you know, Lilith Grimm losing her match at peak of the pack at Noel. Who's gonna be? Who's gonna challenge Noel for that Lockett's title? Got to think the winner of this match will, will go a long way to determining that. Right now, Lola's got the advantage here. She's got Mo in a bad way. Attacking that leg, you can see Mo favoring that knee. Lola able to wrench down on that, getting that knee across that bottom rope, and continuing to go to the attack here is Lola. Stomping on the knee now, and, and you can tell Mo is in a lot of pain with that knee. We haven't really seen Mo, uh, you know, being in this kind of trouble in her short in her short career. See how she can overcome this. And look at it, look look at uh, Lola hyper extending that knee, kind of taking driving that shoulder into the back of her foot, and has that has that gable grip right above the knee, continuing just put all kinds of torque on there. And Big Daddy Mo able to fight her off. That I can't imagine the pain she was feeling yeah. on that one. Able to use the strength in that other leg, but you got to think now there's been some damage. And she's that's going to affect her in this match. Oh, oh, another big headbutt. Big Daddy Mo and with a big daddy headbutt. Well, you can see she's favoring that knee, that left knee. Yeah, oh, can't, it isn't able to put much pressure on it. And and, and, and you got to get say that's impressive by Lola because it's taken the power out of Big Daddy Mo. And you can big, see she's struggling big, yeah, big with that, Mo. but still oh able to get it up. Big yeah, display yeah, of strength. This is it. She's got the leg hooked. Got to put her away here. And no. Lola taking every ounce of energy she had to kick out of that. 
And I got to say, I'm so impressed with Big Daddy Mo. Just so powerful able to fight through that knee pain and stay on top of it. Look at it. But this, Just get right back to her feet. What knee, a competitor. This knee is going to be something they'll look for through the remainder of this matchup. It could end up being the deciding factor. Can she overcome it? <laughs> got her got her front face like a almost a chancery. And struggling to get Lola up. Lola's just dead weight right now. But here she goes. Oh, and able to power up, but still just not able to kind of get that snap that she would usually have on it. Very good point. And then that's coming down to that knee. She's still favoring, but able to still get some maneuvers in place. And for, forgot to hook the leg this time. Very good point, Lucas. And I'm thinking maybe she's kind of have that knee pain in the back of her head and maybe kind of fallen up short there. I, I believe that is what is happening. She's just focused on uh, trying to get that knee pain kind of out of her head, but it's hard. Uh, to it's hard to do that. It takes a lot of will. Big Daddy Mo muscling Lola into the corner here. What she got in store for her, but Lola smacking her. She's like, get out of the way. I need. To, I, I don't want to be in this position. And a kick to the midsection has Big Daddy Mo rocked. And Lola oh, going for that big roundhouse kick, but able to kind of get out of the way. Mo and grabbed now, her foot and just like swatted it away. Oh, well, Big Daddy Mo, how is she going to follow up here? Reversal by Lola. Sunset oh, flip. Sunset flip, got her over. It. One, two, three, that's she it. it. She got her. Big Daddy Mo with an amazing sunset flip reversal and picking up a victory here. Wow, Lucas. That's her biggest victory to date. Here at Rocky Mountain Pro, and that's going to go a long way for that young lady's career. I absolutely agree, Lucas, but man, Lola, look at the look in Lola's eye, man. She is not happy. Well, with Noelle that. now has to look over her shoulder because she has a big daddy moto look at her. We'll have more charge, so don't you go anywhere. Back here on charge with this impressive young man, Two Dame, going to the ring. Throwing up those twos. I mean, hell, I mean, you got it. It fits the, it fits the whole thing, man. God, two Dame, <laughs> throw up the twos. But uh, well, he's uh, he's got quite a challenge Get the in front from the of him. Get the dab from the ref, but you know, oh, oh boy, man, does oh, you weren't lying, Lucas. He has his work cut out for him today. Yeah. I hope he packed a lunch. Going to be teaming with the Vulture for the tag champions, but he's got to get through Two Dame James here, and he can't sleep on Two Dame. Such an athletic competitor. Two Dame has uh, really impressed, shown some some great technical wrestling and, and very solid fundamentals. That has kind of been a theme of a lot of these new guys coming out of the Arsenal Wrestling Academy. They're just so solidly technically sound. Lock up here, and both competitors kind of an excellent arm drag yeah. takedown. Look at that. Game. That doesn't happen very often to, to Damon Ace. Able to use Damon Ace's momentum on that reversal to kind of get him over there. That was a very good move by Tudem. Tudem not showing any fear, locking right up 
with Damon Ace. Damon Ace muscling him over, going for kind of like a, a head takedown, just, just kind of a head toss using his head. And, and Damon Ace can be, he can be so intimidating in the ring. I think that's what a, a lot of the, the younger wrestlers, they come across Damon Ace, a little bit of intimidation factor comes into play. And he is very intimidating and, you know, has a big history here in Rocky Mountain Pro, one of the most fiercest competitors we have. But I got to give it to Dame James. He does not back down from any fight here. And he's taking it, you know, trying to get up here, trying to get some kind of offense here. But the weapon just proving to be too much. Well, two Dame is courage personified. You know, he serves our military, active duty military, one of only just a couple guys that we've ever had in Rocky Mountain Pro that active duty military. Absolutely, good point, Lucas. And both competitors to the outside here. Damon Ace trying to pick him up, but Two Dame trying to fight back a little bit. A couple of strikes to the midsection and Oh my goodness, that chop. Oh. They can hear in the foothills just outside of Golden here. Oh, man. Ooh, I'm having trouble breathing right now, personally, I'm not gonna lie. but. Both back in the ring right now. And front face lock by Damon Ace. Got an arm over his head. Nice uh, but, block but, but, by but Nice two block, Dame. yeah, two Dame. Saw it coming, was able to block it. And now fighting back. Going back to Str that arm forces, just this drive. It takes a, it takes a special drive to serve our country. And absolutely does, oh that. my goodness. But what impact into that turnbuckle and down goes two Dame. Damon Ace going for the cover here. Very lackadaisical cover by Damon Ace and Two Dame able to kick out before the three. And he is uh, in firm control is Damon Ace. And look at this kind of uh, pulling at the face of Two Dame. Ripping away. That's that's just vicious. That you, you just got you have to be a a different kind of person to do something like that. They to another call, human. They don't call Damon Ace the weapon for nothing. Using every part of his body, his hands, his fingers, stomping, raking across the face with his boot. Dangerous competitor, dangerous fighter is Damon Ace. And once again, trying to whip into the ropes, but reversal by two Damon. Caught him with a drop kick. That had, that had Damon Ace staggered, trying to regroup onto that corner there. And now Two Dame trying to uh, get up to his feet here and get something going, but he got caught a flip over the ropes. Able to block it. Caught Damon Ace with the right hand. And oh, Two Dame's going up here. Two Dame. What's he got, what's he got in store? Up to the second rope. Oh. Going for an axe handle, but no. Blocked by Damon Ace. Damon. Oh, slap right to the chest. Oof. And he is putting all of his body weight punishing this young man, Two Dame. Giving him the weapon special, welcome him to Rocky Mountain Pro. Oh, yeah, a kick down to the lower regions. Awful close, but you know, the ref felt, you know, that was definitely more in the stomach area, keeping this match continued. And he's not endearing himself to the fans, never has, never will. I, I Damon Ace doesn't give a damn what the fans think about him. I mean, you know, if, 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 it, if it works for him, why not? And he got a stack, he got uh, a stack uh, cover here. And, and still, somehow, Two Dame able just to get enough of his shoulder up to get out of that. Not only did Damon Ace have all of his weight, he had all of Two Dame's lower half of his weight on, but still excellent athleticism able to kick out there, but uh, he now, got him out on the outside here. And Those now he's out, out, out on that, that still entrance. And oh, look at this. Oh, no. Breaking his, his forehead and his face. Oh, that, no. that is a graded, that is a graded entrance. Still, still entrance. Oh, Damon Ace just that's like, brutalizing. That's like a cheese grater. Oh, driving his knee into two dames, punishing this young man here. I mean, Lucas, do you know something I know? Did two dames just make him mad or just the, the, his baseline Damon, there? Damon, that's how Damon Ace treats his own family. That's, I, yeah, I'm telling him, you, you're, I, I can't argue with the guy. Well, I'm not stupid. He is great, but 
and Sean Jack into you, and he was able to let uh, Tudem get some reprieve here. Tudem trying to get some momentum here. Off the ropes, super speed and forearm smash to the face. Kip up by Tudem. And he's got to try to keep this up. Can't allow Damon Ace even an inch. And you got to give it to him, finding that opening and staying on the offensive. Oh, Discus Larry. Discus Larry. I mean, that, that took everything that Two Dame had. He's got Damon Ace down. He's got to capitalize. This is it. What a victory this go. would be. Oh, my. Oh. Oh, man. Just a millimeter away from picking up a victory over Damon Ace. And that would, I mean, that would be huge, not only for two Dame, but that would ruin a lot of momentum for Damon Ace and Dustin Urich going into Milestone as they would have a championship opportunity against Chapa City. And two Dame, series of strikes to Damon oh, Ace, but oh, but going oh, up for Persona, persona non grata. Definitely caught all of it. And he's not going for the pinfall right away. This could be a mistake. Just kind of nonchalantly going, and it, that might be academic though, and that's it. Oh, oh man, wait, no hold, way! Hold on! No way! He kicked out a persona non grata. Lucas, did you see that? I, I mean, I know he hesitated, but that's still, I've no, no way kicks out a persona non grata. Damon Ace can't believe it. He, 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 had, he took him too long to cover, and Two Dame able to kick out here. You gotta say, so impressive is Two Dame to able to kick out of that. It, yeah, it was still impressive no matter how, how long it took, but it, it, now Damon Ace, he's looking to put him away right here. Going for it all, but uh, able to get out of the way. And Damon Ace, why well, I think he hurt his arm a little bit. Looks like he tried to muscle him down there, and Two Dame's trying to, Fight back here. Yeah, he is not giving up his two name. And reversal by a oh, cutter. A, a cutter by Damon Ace. I've never that's, seen that out of him before. And that's it. Wow. The momentum continuing in Damon Ace's favor going into Milestone, but. Did, but Damon Ace had another weapon that he added to his arsenal, that cutter, and that was enough to put away two Dame. Yeah, he now has some momentum. Can he work with Dustin Urich? That's the big question. Can they work together to get those tag team titles off of Chopper City come milestone? That is the big question, Lucas, but momentum in Damon Ace's favor. But we'll see what happens here in the coming 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 time before milestone we'll have more charge so don't you go anywhere we'll be right back <sighs> finally finally echo and brew are out of my hair i could take some time to relax and enjoy this title reign and I just want to apologize to you guys. I, Echo really took a lot out of me, and I needed this time to get myself back together. But I will be back after Milestone. They were like bees just swarming me every time that I got a chance. Every time I walked into the locker room, they were there wanting rematch after rematch. And I thought I proved it after the second one, after the third one, but it wasn't over. But I'm finally glad that I could take this time regather myself <sighs> smell the flowers and enjoy this title reign all you've been doing for weeks is smelling flowers are you kidding me what are you doing here looking for you have you seen your wrestle a match in weeks you don't leave me alone this beef was squashed beef everywhere squash. I go you're there echoes there what else do you want we've already went through this and i won i have the charge title there's there's nothing more here there's always something the untitled are not finished with you no this you is, don't even have a match at milestone this is done okay it's everywhere i go you follow me it's not you've done. even followed me here come on man Yeah. <laughs>
We're back here on stars for singles action. fully focused, you can't waste a single second. David Drake is a, is a machine in that ring, and he has that killer instinct. And you can just see it in the, just, just a look in David Drake's eyes, and he is all business, but it's just, this is no conscience behind there. You just yeah. look at him and see that. Well, and he, you've gotta think he's being laser focused right now. We are, he's really close to Milestone 14 and defending that title against Remy D, who's been on a rampage. And both competitors kind of slow. And look at that, look at David Drake yeah. smiling. He's smiling, he's smirking. I just, it's a little disturbing to me. You know, I, as a guy who was uh, kidnapped by David Drake, not once, but twice. But it, it, it seems that, it, we're seeing a new side of David Drake, and and, and 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 the day will come when you know maybe even you, Lucas, will be singing his praises. I am singing his praises. I gave him uh, all of his flowers at Peak of the Pack in that incredible matchup against Kaden Koyama. You know, he, he is he has earned my respect. Definitely, he has been a great champion, two-time Rocky Mountain Pro champion. And he really has done things the right way since returning here to Rocky Mountain Pro. And into the Rocky Mountain Pro champion. Everything is done deliberately, but it looks like, you know, Reno has a little leverage on him in that side headlock. And the Rocky Mountain Pro champion trying to fight out of this one, shooting him to the ropes. Well, Reno, look at that, and a little, showing a little uh, uh, David Drake uh, there, getting sliding out of the ring. Kind of like, kind of like, hey man, that's my, that's my thing. What's up with that? We've, we've said it before. Devin Reno, just an incredible athlete. I right, look at the guy. He is well put together and got a, got a great background of, of just, you know, wrestling at a high level all across the country. Excellent kick to the kick to David Drake there. It looked like they were going for a lockup, but Reno give him the okie doke. Well, that and that's smart. That you want to throw David Drake off. You can't just let David Drake come at you full steam ahead like that. And that has him. That has Reno staggered. He's trying to get to his feet, able to get to the corner, and David Drake staying on top of him. A series of strikes to the head by David Drake onto Reno. He's got to use that street smarts that he learned from Gilbert here, or else, you know, he's going to get himself Yeah, no, those mean streets of Gilbert, yeah. The street smart, Devin Reno on the attack, rolling him over here, going for the cover here. And uh, not even, I don't even think he got a one count. He got a half count on that one. And going right back to the attack, and kind of laying off the arrogance here. Good job. Yeah, yeah. Look, and look at David Drake just staring at him. No shots, 
are seemingly aren't doing anything. Not at all. And David Drake coming back. Big time shots and down goes Devin Reno. Devin Reno doesn't even know what hit him. And David Drake going for the cover here. This might be it. And Devin Reno able to take all the strength necessary that he has in his body to kick out of that. I mean, David Drake is just a, such a strong and powerful competitor. Those are like getting hit with a with an 18 wheeler with those punches. I don't think Devin Reno has ever went up against somebody quite like David Drake. I, I we've seen him be so impressive here, but David Drake is is a different animal. The type of competitor that David Drake is, you can watch all the videos, you can scout him out all you want, but it's just, just going to be a different kind of man no matter how you get him in there. Yeah, it's not going to do any good. Oh, but look at that athleticism out of Devin Reno. That's what he's got to do. And throwing David Drake in the corner, stomping him down. And this seems to be working well for him right now. And the ref breaking him up. Trying to get him off to the ropes here, but look, he has. Yeah, he, David, yeah, David Drake rocked here. He does. D David Drake looks to be a little bit dazed down there in the on the turnbuckle. European yeah. uppercut, taking it right back to him. And that was a precision uppercut as well. It found its mark. And these shots, they are they are solid. Oh, but there, and there is David Drake's speed. Cat-like quickness. Showing him, showing Reno that he can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with his athleticism as well. And we're seeing two great athletes go at it right now. David Drake just staring. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, oh no. Remy D. I, Remy D come Dude, out of here. Just bumped me. And he could have took both of us out. We would have never wait, seen it. Wait, Remy D's got that wait, belt. He got He's got the Rocky Mountain Pro title. Remy D's out here, but walk into the ring. Reno with the distraction, able to go on the offensive, but Drake was distracted and, by Remy. And De Devin Reno taking the boots to David Drake. What? And Remy just smirking at that title. And Reno, he's kind of like confused as well here. Remy D believes that title's going to be his come milestone 14. Oh, David. Slank shot, throat first into the ropes. We got a cover here. One, two, two no. Wait, Remy, Remy's, Remy's taking the belt. Remy's walking off with the title. He's, that's not his title, though. He just, he just took, he just took the Rocky Mountain Pro Championship. Yeah, this is. Uh, David this is, Drake unable. Momentum has just been solidly in Reno's favor since Remy came out here and stole the RMP title. Remy has sucked the energy out of this building. Remy has has changed the complexion of this matchup just by coming out here and taking the title. But uh, Reno going right back on the attack here, whipping Drake into oh, the what with all the force. And, and Devin Reno, it's like all of a sudden he has he has gotten a, a shot of energy and now is taking complete control of this match. Hill had the whole bottle of Rays today. And, oh, coming up. Oh, my guy David. shot out of a cannon, David Drake. One, two, three, that's it. And David Drake, and, and he's making a beeline line to the back, going for his title. Well, we'll go. We got to go. We'll be back.